go. Welcome back to another clear shot golf video. This is part two of the Break 90 series at the Foundry. Um, if you haven't seen our video from the front nine, go check it out. Finished with the 44 on the front, so I'm in okay shape to try to get get under 90 if I can play this back nine well. So stay tuned. If you haven't yet, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel for more up-to-date golf content. Hole number 10 here, it's a par five. Dog legs left. You wanna kinda of hug the tree line and shorten it a little bit. Give yourself a good look coming into the green. Hit that about exactly where you want your tee shot to go. Left side of the fairway, cut along this tree line. Should have a pretty good look. Might, might be a little bit far to get to the green in two, but we'll see when we get up there. Tee shot ended up here. We've got 250 yards to the green. I know my chance of getting there in two is slim, so. I'm going to play a 150 yard shot, get away from this fairway bunker danger here, leave myself with 90 to 100 yards in, and then see if we can get ourselves another birdie look. Well, I did exactly what I was looking for, I've got 108 left to the flag i'm gonna hit a little wedge try to put it in close i hit that so bad that's terrible super fat not great not happy that's okay i avoided danger i guess i could still get up and down so this is my fourth shot, this is what we're looking at. Over the bunker, a little risky. Gotta get some height to it. Gotta get it close if I wanna make par. We're dancing, but it's gonna be a hard par putt. That really was not ideal. Rush those first two putts. Really needed to take my time. Hate three putting. Not a fan of double bogeys. Hole number 11 is another par three. We've got a little marsh in front of us and 166 yards to the pin. Push that right of the green. Pretty sure I'm in the hazard. And I'm gonna be looking at dropping probably up there. I don't know why, but par three is when you really can't make a mistake. I always end up just messing those up. But here we go. Just take some practice, I guess, and eventually maybe I'll get over that. So my ball was in the hazard. So we're going to drop just next to the cart path up here. Here's my third shot. Didn't have confidence with my chip. Had a little bit more confidence with my bunker shot. And got it out of the bunker. Left it right about here. So. I'll take that. Still a five, but at least a one putt. Back to back double bogeys is not how I wanted to start. The back nine, I guess it could have gone a lot worse. Now we'll just have to tidy it up for the rest of these holes. Hole number 12, it's a pretty cool par four. It's fairly long, about 450 yards. Um, dog legs right at the bottom of that 
uphill, so just gotta keep it in the fairway to the left-hand side, avoid the trees on the right, give yourself an approach. Well, I'm on the left, near the cart path on the left. Probably not in the best spot. So, I'm to the left of the car path, green's down there. I mean, I could chip out into the fairway, which I feel like, I don't know, kind of slips away, might not be the best play. I would usually suggest against this, but I might try to just hit it in between these trees and see if I can get it down towards the green. Got it through the trees, hit sort of a hooky draw though. Kept cruising along the cart path. So I'm up here near the tee box for the next hole. Got a little wedge shot to get on the green. And we got a par putt. Let's see if we can drop it. After a couple shots, I was, I was able to save bogey on the last hole. Got to get back on these these pars and birdies though. So let's see what we can make out of hole number 13, par four. Well, I could not find my tee shot, but I hit it left off the tee, out of bounds, so I've got to take a drop. So I had to drop for two. Number three, was a terrible shot. And I still got a decent distance left to the hole. Now here's where I'm playing my fourth shot from. It's about 65 yards to the pin. Got to get this close. Rushed my downswing, bladed it over the green. I guess you have to have a blow up hole every once in a while. This is shot number five from the back side of the green. shot ended up here got a pretty long look for double bogey let's hope I can save that there we go there we go <laughs> that felt good that was a redeeming shot Fumbled my way around the whole hole and just drained that putt. I will oh, I feel so good. The round's starting to slip away from me a little bit, but it's okay, I'm having a good time. It's a little chilly, but it's a nice day. Here we are, there's uh, another par four. Dog legs to the right, so you wanna try to get it up right by past those trees. So you have a decent little approach shot into the green. Last couple holes, I've been pulling my drives. I don't know, I feel out of sync or something, but it's okay. At least this one stayed in bounds. Got a lucky bounce off of a tree, I think. So, thankfully I did bounce out. This is not the ideal situation. We're looking at 225 to the, to the green from here. So, I'm just gonna put it down there. I hit that a little bit fat, but it ended up back in the middle of the fairway. I should have just a short little approach shot to get on the green. Here's what we're looking at. Left of the green, just about 70 yards. Let's put it close.
man. I don't know what's going on. I'm just not feeling confident behind any shot right now. The results are showing as such. This is going to be my fourth shot. Pins there. Let's see if I can feed it down this hill. Get close to the hole. There's another double for the scorecard. This back nine's eating me up a little bit. Thought we had a promising look, but we're starting to lose that, so on to the next. Hole 15 is another par four. Dog legs right past those trees. There's a nice little lake down there. Uh, so we gotta shoot it straight. Leave ourselves with a little over water approach. That wasn't a bad tee shot. I just brought it left again. Thankfully it should find the fairway, but it's gonna leave me a really difficult second shot. I'll try to get it onto the green. So I guess it wasn't terrible. I wasn't quite on the fairway, just off. Green's over there, flag's at 194. I'm gonna try to aim right at this little fan, draw it in a little bit, get it to take that slope. Maybe get close. That was really well hit. It is a little bit short, but I'm not in a bad spot, so let's get this up and down. Luckily, my shot actually turned out okay. I'm right here, just off the green. Not as short as I thought I was. So, even though I'm on the fringe, I'm gonna give this a putt. I always go between whether or not I wanna putt, you know, from the fringe like that, when I'm a little bit off the green. It's just so hard for me to gauge speed. I usually chip that, but I thought the putt was less risky, but now I still got a really long putt for par. That was a four putt double bogey. Not what you like to see. I think that's one of the more difficult greens though that's out here. And I just played it, uh, I played it wrong. That's what it is. So going on to the final stretch, so I'm walking up to tee box number 16, currently sitting at 79. So we got a par five, a par three, followed by a par four. We've got 11 strokes, or actually 10 really, to, to try to break 90. So, I don't know, it's not looking great. Let's see what we can do. That just went straight. I was hoping for a little bit of a draw. At least that's what I wanted, but I guess after pulling the last few drives, I should be happy with a straighter shot. So I'm, I'm sitting here in the fairway. We got 270 left of the hole. There's a bunker short and a huge bunker left that are both difficult to play out of. So I wanna hit, I wanna hit like a 170 shot just to the left of that bunker. Try to give myself a good approach. Didn't quite get as much zip as I would have liked, but that's okay. I'm on the fairway. I probably have, probably have like 120 left. So let's make a good third shot. See if we can get a birdie. Four here would really help. So we're sitting here, 
looking at 139 to the flag. So I'm gonna try to drop it in close. Talk about a lucky shot. Hopped the, I topped it so bad. And it rolled up onto the green. With how bad my last shot was, I cannot believe I'm up on the green looking at a birdie putt. So let's uh, make the most out of this. I'll take a tap in par after the way I played the last couple holes. Still not ideal, but I don't know, we got a chance. All right, hole number 17, we have a par three. It's uh, pretty narrow. There's a bunker on the back, two bunkers on the front. And really, I guess the best thing you can do is just try to hit it straight at the pin. I hit that well, but I think I sailed it over the green into the bunker. Looks like it. Looks like it went a little left, so let's see what we can do from there. I did, in fact, end up in the bunker. The pin's there. This is a really difficult shot. Let's see what the best way to play this is. Two shots out of the bunker is never fun but we have a reasonable putt for bogey. A five on a par three is not ideal. No, I probably could have played that first bunker shot a little different. Instead of trying to go pin hunting, I. Could have probably gotten it out easier if I just hit it anywhere else. But After 17, I'm sitting at 89. So that there's no chance I'm breaking 90 because I would have to be done by now. But it's still a good round. I feel, you know, feel good about it. Could have tightened up the back a little bit, but still all in all pretty decent. Either way, we'll keep in touch. Um, be trying to put out a video like this once a well, once a week maybe one of these days you'll get to see me break 90 but i'm just gonna keep working keep practicing and hopefully one day soon i'll be there all right